Well, tomorrow we will get an update on COVID from the governor and state health leaders. This as hospital beds are filling up across Indiana as the Omicron variant and COVID-19 is spreading fast. Now, most of the people hospitalized who have severe complications are not vaccinated. And as we head into the New Year's holiday, hospital leaders worry about yet another surge. Johnson Memorial, like so many other Indiana hospitals, are filling up fast with sick patients. We've been on diversion more days than we haven't. And we continue to um, be forced to, you know, hold uh, people in the emergency department awaiting beds. We've had to cancel some obviously non-urgent procedures. And with the Omicron variant spreading fast, hospital leaders are worried that more staff could get sick just as more unvaccinated Hoosiers need critical care. And it's a perfect storm. The highly transmissible Omicron variant spreading during the busy holiday season. And right now, doctors are seeing more kids who have contracted COVID-19. As Rick Conway tells us, children's hospitals are bracing for it to get even worse. On the heels of holiday celebrations. Heading into the new year. Omicron is spreading. Cases are rising, and now more kids are getting hospitalized with COVID-19. And we're closing in on the record high for pediatric hospitalizations set in September. In Houston, Children's Hospital say they're getting ready for more kids with COVID to fill up beds there. With one pediatrician saying, I think we are going to see more numbers now than we have ever seen. An attending physician and infectious disease specialist at Ann and Robert H. Lurie Children's Hospital in Chicago says case numbers there are three times as high as the hospital's previous peak last December. In Cleveland, the director of pediatric infection control at Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital says effective monoclonal antibodies, a life-saving treatment, is in short supply. State data shows New York City pediatric hospitalizations increased five-fold over a three-week period. And in D.C., the infectious disease chief at Children's National Hospital says close to half of the COVID-19 tests that they're doing are coming back positive. But it's not just these cities. Nationwide, on average, pediatric hospitalizations are up 35 percent in just the past week. Hospitals are bracing for a busy January as health experts continue their vaccination plea. All done. I'm Britt Conway reporting. The CDC has shortened their recommendation for the amount of time you should quarantine after contracting COVID-19. They now say those who are asymptomatic or no longer showing symptoms can shorten their isolation period from 10 to 5 days. Now, those who are unvaccinated or haven't gotten their second shot should quarantine for 5 days. Both should be followed by 5 more days of strict mask usage. And we don't know how those recommendations could impact the Colts as they now have 14 players on the COVID reserve list. The Colts host the Raiders Sunday at Lucas Oil Stadium. Coach Frank Reich says it's next man up if the players, including Darius Leonard and Quentin Nelson, can't return. And staffing shortages and the weather has stalled travel plans for people across the country, especially in the west, where winter storms are grounding planes and closing some roads. A powerful snowstorm left runways icy at SeaTac Airport in Washington state. More than 500 flights were either delayed or canceled out of the hub. Over the weekend, as many as 6,000 flights were canceled as airline workers were hit by COVID. 